I love chicken katsu. Let's make some in the air fryer. Look at that crust. Look how beautiful it is. Golden brown, crispy. And look, there's juice coming out of the chicken breast. It's crispy and juicy. Oh, we made some tonkatsu sauce to go on top. And plenty of it. Oh. All right. Well, that's me. I am Instant Pot Dave of the Wild Wings. Cooking it up in our 30-foot fifth wheel with my family of four. And that is my beautiful baby daughter. She always has my back while I'm eating dinner. What a good kid. All right. Well, let's start things off by making some tonkatsu sauce. We have some ketchup, some soy sauce, and some brown sugar. Oh, look at that. And let's put some rice wine vinegar, some Worcestershire sauce, believe it or not. And now we're going to put a little ground ginger and some granulated garlic or garlic powder. You can put fresh in there if you want. It is time to cut our chicken breasts in half. They're just a little bit still frozen, made it a little bit easier. Lightly dust them with salt and granulated ginger and wrap them up in plastic wrap. Set them aside for about a half hour, 40 minutes. Now we're going to take about a teaspoon of granulated garlic and stick it in two cups of flour. Spread it around on our first plate there, get it ready for our chicken breasts. Now let's crack three eggs. Pop those yolks and beat them up real good. And we'll get those eggs ready to wash our chicken breasts. And we will take one and a half cups of panko and a half cup or two thirds cup of plain bread crumbs to fill in the gaps between the panko crumbs. And now we will take our chicken breast and push it into our flour. That flour gives the egg something to stick to. So make sure you put some flour on all of that chicken. Shake off the extra flour. And now we're gonna make sure we get all that flour covered in egg. And we'll take that all the way down here to our panko and breadcrumb mixture. Smash it in there, make sure you got everything covered. And don't forget to jam while you guys are cooking. Hey kid, what's happening man? Stop it, get out of here. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and preheat our air fryer at 400 degrees for five minutes. Let's spray our chicken breast down one side. Make sure that you get all those crumbs a little damp. And let's spray our hot basket down. We'll put the oil side of our chicken breast down on our hot basket. All right, we'll make some room. Make sure we got three of them in there. And now we will spray the other side down. Make sure that they are damp because if the crumbs go in dry, they will come out dry. You put oil on them, they'll come out golden brown and crispy. So let's do 370 degrees uh, for eight minutes. Come out like this. I go heavy on the first side. You won't lose breading when you flip your chicken. And let's go ahead and oil that side too. We're gonna cook it just for two more minutes and check this out. Perfect, absolutely amazing. Beautiful, gorgeous, crispy, golden brown, juicy chicken katsu sitting on my plate next to some green beans, snap peas, fried rice, topped with tonkatsu sauce. Oh boy. Now let's take a chunk out of that. Look at that crispy crust and juicy tender chicken breast. Oh boy. Well, Job well done, let's sit down and let's eat dinner. Check that out. Oh. Mmm. First bite, oh yeah. Yeah, it's totally worth it. That's pretty easy too. Most chicken katsus are only flour, egg, and panko crumbs. Kind of boring. So with this flavor added to it, it just knocked it over the top. If you like our channel, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell so you know when we get another video out there. And if you want to try this recipe or are interested, uh, there is a link in this video's description. You can click on it. It will take you straight to it on our website. You can print off a copy. I thank you very much, you guys, for stopping by and watching our video. Take care of yourselves out there and be careful. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. What?